you are watching this from the UK, no doubt you'll have seen Boris on the TV last night letting us all know that we are effectively in lockdown here in the UK. We have new rules in which to live by for the foreseeable that we should, well basically we should stay the fuck home is the, is the message, the loud and clear message to stay at home. We should only be going out, we can go out once a day for exercise with people from our own household, we can go out for essential shopping, key workers can go to work, but other than that, we should be staying at home. As usual this morning, I've been watching the news a little bit and people are like, well, but, but can I do this and can I do this and can I do this? I mean, stay at home as much as possible, just stay the heck at home. It's very strange and eerie around if when you go out, we went out yesterday for a walk, all of us, and I think we will continue whilst we're allowed out. We will still continue every day. We'll go out for a walk as a household. Obviously keeping our distance. We met um, some neighbors and people as we were on a walk yesterday and we made sure we kept our distance from them. We will continue to do the same whilst we are allowed. Um, it's lovely weather, really nice weather. We are so lucky in the fact that we have got a garden so we can get outside. But this is day one and I just kind of wanted to document what day one in lockdown is like for us. I've had a little bit of a stressful time, as everyone has, with their own individual situations. Over the weekend I was extremely stressed, like couldn't sleep very well and regarding foster children and contact and it was a very stressful situation which has now been resolved and I'm happy with the resolution. So although I'm not sure whether that will change after last night's uh, alterations to how we can now live um, I'll have to figure that out today I'll have to speak to someone but yeah we are kind of we're in lockdown as a as a household as a family we will not be going out we will absolutely be following those guidelines that the only time we are going to go out is as a household for a bit of a walk and I will go out I mean we've got a reasonable amount of food in the house so the only reason we will be going out if I can't get an online order then I'll go out to get <clears throat> obviously food when we need it but milk and stuff for the babies, the little ones. <clears throat> so we are staying in for the foreseeable. We are gonna try and enjoy it as much as possible. Obviously there is myself, Lara, who is working from home, Stephen, who is schooling from home, and then we've got the two little foster kids. We're gonna try to keep to a little bit of a schedule, like me and Stephen were having a bit of a chat yesterday about how you know, he's been off school a few days now and like he's gonna get up in the morning. We're gonna try and do, it started yesterday but we didn't do it yesterday, the whole Joe Wicks body coach P lesson at nine o'clock. Although I've got like, I've got up and do my makeup and everything but we're gonna do that. It's Stephen's just got up now, it's quarter to nine so we're gonna give that a go, see if we like doing that in the morning and yeah, see how it goes. But definitely we're gonna try and have some fun. We're not gonna try not to complain and moan. There's people in far worse positions then us, you know, people are dying this, you know, we can stay home and play some games and whatever. That's the least we can do, let's be honest. So yeah, we are gonna try and have as much fun as we can during this time. We have a slight problem. There's a mouse in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm the biggest wimp in the world. So Lara and Stephen are sorting it out. Did you bring it in? What's going on? You got it? No. Is it there? Yeah. Have you got a plan? Good. Are you coming through with it? Yeah. Oh, hang on. Let, yeah, let me hide. <laughs> I'm standing up. Oh my, don't, don't come anywhere near me. Oh my god. Yeah, take it like, take it as far as you can. Put it in the field, put it in the field. I think I'll come out with the double. Oh, well done. They saved the mouse. Yay. Well done. Did you just catch it with that? So good. Squat down, knee up. Squat down, knee up. 
Yesterday, we all sat on the dining room table working and stuff, but today, they're all using the lounge. I'm going to go in the garden. I haven't really got any, like, computery work to do today, so I'm going to go in the garden. One of the, look at the mess, I've got probably some mess to tidy up in the house, but I'm going to go and mow the lawn because the lawn hasn't been mowed for ages and, um, yeah, we haven't had any rain for a while and it's a lovely day, so... Maybe you should try and get the garden all sorted. I've got my washing on the line. One child is asleep, one sitting in a little chair out here. <laughs> there we go, all done. It's a bit yellow, but in the grand scheme of it, yellow grass isn't that important. We're out on our little Daily household, daily, yeah, we're allowed to go out as a household once a day. So we're just out on a little household walk. It's a lovely day. It's like, fun. hopefully it'll stay nice because if I it... I might go work in the garden. Mm, yeah, it, to be honest, it's nice enough to work, on, work in the garden. Yeah. nice it's just really weird being out and about there's not many people out at all around by me there's a few dog walkers that it's kind of like we've all got the leggy and we like if we're crossing we like separate so we're keeping our distance from each other and we smile at each other and say hello but yeah there's not many people out and about at all around here which is good i'm glad everyone is taking the advice i would say if possible i do think like for me definitely and i think depending on what you've got going on in your house and whatever if you can get out just for a little bit of time just for a little walk around your block at some point during the day whilst we're allowed it may not be allowed for much longer i keep saying this um but yeah it's definitely nice like for all of us just to go for a little walk was good it was so nice everyone's had lunch and kind of like dispersed really like Stephen's kind of finished with his school work i've got to say honestly he doesn't seem to be getting much school work at all uh, whether he's just not paying particular like attention and doing it to the best i don't know i don't really know but he has got um he got like a, le a piano a keyboard thing uh course yesterday that he's been doing bits of and stuff so yeah, he's keeping himself busy i'm just wary that i don't want him just like sitting on the computer for hours he has gone up now to go and play some games which is fine he's been doing stuff this morning and lara has gone i don't know i think she's on a conference call or something to her work and we're just actually the kids may go for a sleep to be honest i'm not quite sure what will <laughs> what's gonna happen they've just kind of all finished bottles and lunch and things there's all sorts it's social services and fostering and everything as you well, you may be a foster care and going through this yourself. Crazy times in terms of what's 
happening with sort of contact and things and just there's just a lot going on and things are just changing as as everything is to be honest like everything's changing daily and things that we'd organized yesterday is what we can do potentially are different now with the new guidance that came out last night so we're trying to figure out all of that stuff and there may be a change of personnel in this household we may be losing one of the children just not for anything like that i've done wrong or anything it just with covid19 and everything that's happening with things are just being maybe not rushed but things that were gonna happen maybe like next week or potentially you know two weeks time but trying to like get things organized and sorted as quickly as possible so yeah people may be leaving uh, but we'll just wait and see on that i think it's just a very difficult <coughs> situation that cough i'm not sure about that cough uh, one of the kids that's a few times now today I'll keep my eye on it over the rest of the day. Um, I completely forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, obviously with schools closing and, like, there's still vulnerable children out there. There's still children that would be coming into care. And I don't, like, I don't know. I don't know the effect on potentially, like, you know, kids who, you know, their safe place was school and all of that and whether that means that more... This is horrible to even think about. That, like that, crap. More crap is going on at home, and so maybe. But then, are they? I don't know. Are people aware of it as much because people aren't socialising as much? I don't know. I don't even want to. Oh God, no, that's horrible to think about. But I'm sure there will still be. There will still be children being removed in emergency situations or whatever. And so, for whatever reason, you know, uh, children move quicker in this house. Then it, I, I will just go straight on the back on the list. We'll see how that one pans out. I think, speaking to my social work before, it's just, it's day by day at the moment. We can't really think anything other than what we're doing today with it all. And we'll see tomorrow morning when we wake up, things could all have changed. So we'll just wait and see. I've had a pretty chilled out, nice relaxing afternoon, to be honest. Kids slept for quite a while, both of them. And we're gonna stick on, I think. We're gonna stick on the news now. It's about half past four-ish. So we're going to stick on the news for the latest of updates. This cough it isn't a new cough. I don't know. I don't know whether how I can say it isn't a new cough. It isn't a new persistent cough. It is just she's snotty and coughy. I don't know. I'm. I'm. I don't know. Not sure. To be honest, how I feel about it. Hi, Al. Hi, Al. <laughs> you like that toy? Gonna have a nice evening, I think. I've just turned the oven on. I've got, we've got leftovers. But t well, it's not the best thing, to be honest. I made this like um, bean casserole thing. It's not the best, but we will have leftovers for tea with some added extra bits, so. Hiya, pal. Hiya, pal. Ooh, hiya, pal. Uh-oh, more poo. I think it's just wind. No more poo. <laughs> <laughs> First question is from Laura Coombsbeck. But after that, we absolutely need to be able to. We're almost done our little daily for a number of reasons. One, so briefing. Isolating at home or with their families. And, it and what's out going on? Coronavirus. They can come back to work. Oh! Oh no! They come in! Daily temperature check. Ready? The death toll in the UK from coronavirus oh. has risen sharply in the past 24 hours. 87 people have died what since the total to 422. What happened there? Rise here. Next week. Nine seven point six. I'm good. We just had a lovely little last half hour of the evening. 
I think it's very important to kind of keep up with the news and we do put the news on at like half past four-ish every day to kind of keep up with the daily press conferences and things that are happening and see what is ha happening around the world and obviously in this country with coronavirus but I also do think it's important just to kind of just kind of try to forget about it and just <sighs> enjoy yourself and so we had like a little bit of a dance and we yeah just had a nice little half an hour the kids have just gone to bed I am gonna that's it my plan was as soon as the kids went to bed I'll phone my sister she has just phoned me now another sister that doesn't live here in this house it's important again check in with loved ones see if everyone is doing okay so i'm going to give her a ring now to see how she is doing i don't actually know whether she's in work i haven't spoken to her for a few, for a few days whether they've been kind of like shut down with everything or what is happening so check in with loved ones